Semper Primus, Latin for always first. The motto of the South Carolina Air National Guard exemplifies what the men and women of the Skang have aimed for and achieved over the last 75 years. The Swamp Fox emblem is recognized worldwide as the symbol of excellence in combat capability. The Skang has always been first. First to respond when the state and nation calls, first in the fight. From the unit's first muster on December 9, 1946, the lists of first are many and include first Air National Guard unit to receive the F-16 Fighting Falcon, first Air National Guard unit in Operation Desert Storm, first Air National Guard unit to convert to the F-16 Block 52 engine. And the list goes on. The Skang will always be first. The first 25 years of the Skang were marked by several historical events that would shape the unit up until the present day. On the night of December 9, 1946, 14 officers and 36 enlisted men reported for duty at Congaree Air Base. The humble beginnings of the South Carolina Air National Guard can be traced to the vision of South Carolina's Adjutant General James Dozier, who handpicked legendary leaders such as Major Robert Morrell and Lieutenant Colonel Barney McIntyre to recruit the nucleus of what would become the Skang. The newly activated 157th Fighter Squadron would receive the P-51 Mustang Fighter in 1947, and the Skang quickly grew to a force of more than 300 personnel the year after that. In June 1950, war broke out in Korea, and in October, the entire Skang was called up for active duty for the next 21 months with service stateside and in Europe. After the war was over, things returned to a steady state of training and preparing for the next call up. In October 1961, the Skang would mobilize 750 airmen for active duty and deploy to Marone Air Base, Spain to provide Berlin airlift support. Sadly, the unit's first commander, Brigadier General McIntyre, was not among them. McIntyre was killed on May 25, 1961, after steering his disabled F-104 away from the populated areas of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and crashing it into the Susquehanna River. Ironically, McIntyre and Colonel Morrell were returning from their travels to brief Air Force officials about badly needed engine modifications to the F-104. For his sacrifice, South Carolina Governor Ernest Hollings renamed Congaree Air Base to McIntyre Air National Guard Base at a ceremony on November 10th, 1961. The middle 25 years of the Skang continued to see the growth of the unit and would end with the acquisition of the jet that the Skang still flies today. With the end of the Vietnam War and the beginning of this nation's all-volunteer military, men and now women continued to sign up to serve in the Skang. Also during this time, the Department of Defense's new total force concept would make the Skang and other reserve units fully integrated with the active duty Air Force to perform its military mission. But in 1983, the Skang would achieve a first, which would set in motion its worldwide reputation as the premier fighter unit in the U.S. Air Force. In April, the Skang received the new F-16 Fighting Falcon aircraft, the first unit in the Air National Guard to get this state-of-the-art jet fighter. The F-16 is a single-seat, multi-role fighter capable of performing air-to-air -air and air-to-ground tactical missions. In October 1989, the Skang became the first Air National Guard F-16 unit to win the Air Force's gunnery and maintenance competition known as Gunsmoke. By beating out 16 other units, including newer F-16 units in the Air Force, the Skang was crowned world champions. When Iraq invaded Kuwait in 1990, the Skang sent 24 F-16s and 750 personnel to Saudi Arabia for Operation Desert Shield. And on January 17, 1991, with the start of Desert Storm, the Skang led the way into Iraq and Kuwait to implement its suppression of enemy air defenses, often referred to as seed combat capability. The seed mission paved the way for the most devastating and overwhelming air campaign in history. 
It's fitting then that in February 1994, the newest and most advanced F-16s in the Air Force inventory, the Block 52s, started arriving at McIntyre. These are the same aircraft that the Skang flies today. The last 25 years have seen the Skang evolve from a reserve force into a true operational force with a global presence. After supporting numerous post-Desert Storm deployments for operations Northern Watch and Southern Watch, this gang really came into its own during multiple deployments supporting the global war on terrorism following the 9-11 attacks. Starting in 2002, this gang deployed to Qatar to support Operation Enduring Freedom, another first in the Air National Guard, followed by Qatar again in 2003 for Operation Iraqi Freedom. In 2007, regular Air Force active duty airmen started arriving at McIntyre as part of the largest active associate program in the Air Force. All in all, 150 active duty personnel would be assigned at any one time to work and train, and this innovative program continues to this day. And thanks to this groundbreaking active associate program, in 2010, the 169th Fighter Wing became the first Air National Guard unit to support an Air Expeditionary Force mission for the full 120 days during an Operation Iraqi Freedom deployment. In 2011, the 169th Fighter Wing accepted the Aerospace Control Alert mission, and to this day, the Skang maintains responsibility for this vital continental air defense mission. In 2012, the Skang again deployed to Afghanistan in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. This deployment was followed by subsequent theater support package deployments to Jordan in 2014 and South Korea in 2016. Air Expeditionary Force rotations will follow in 2018 to Kuwait and Saudi Arabia in 2021. The Skang sent F-16s to support NATO exercises in Poland in 2015 and Sweden in 2019. All these deployments and exercises over the last 25 years have refined the Skang's warfighting capability and made it the premier F-16 unit in the U.S. Air Force. And when the Skang was not sending iron to support deployments and exercises across the globe, airmen from the 169th Mission Support Group, 169th Medical Group, 245th Air Traffic Control Squadron and now deactivated 240th Combat Communication Squadron have consistently deployed for Air Expeditionary Force and Agile Combat Support Missions overseas as well as across the country for real-world training opportunities. Since 2012, the Skang has played a key role in the National Guard Bureau's State Partnership Program. As a Republic of Colombia state partner, South Carolina works closely with the Colombian Air Force by sending F-16s to conduct bilateral training as well as participating in key leader engagements with the Colombian military and the biennial Colombian F-Air Air Show. Ever ready to support South Carolina when needed, Skang Airmen play vital roles during several natural disasters, including the historic floods in 2015, as well as annual hurricanes from 2016 to 2019. Starting in 2020, the 169th Fighter Wing played a critical role in the state's COVID-19 response by providing medical personnel and logistics support to combat the pandemic. As the Skang begins the final 25 years, leading to its centennial in 2046, its motto, Semper Primus, remains as true today as it was back on the night of December 9, 1946, when 50 Swamp Foxes gathered for the unit's first muster. From this legacy, the Skang has grown, prospered, and evolved into the world's premier F-16 unit. Whenever called, overseas or at home, the men and women of the Skang stand ready to protect the nation and their local communities. The Skang is always first and will always be first. The Skang is 75 years young and just getting started. We are your South Carolina Air National Guard. Happy Diamond Anniversary.